to start us off, I just want to acknowledge that myself and Derek were the contributors to this particular assignment. That leads us right away into our first question. We just wanted to state that our given filing for the assignment was called Chrondrichtes, I believe it's how it's pronounced. So from there, we know that this is part of the Kingdom and Amelia. We're based on figure 30.2 from the node beginning in Amelia. We start by going through the tree. We have multicellularity, and then dinoploplasty, bilateral symmetry, radial symmetry, which only occurs fully once you reach adulthood. And then we bring ourselves to the diatomes, which um, is where segmentation occurs. Um, the word I struggled with, uh, diatrostomes or diatros Detrotones just means that um, the first opening that occurred in the embryo then becomes the anus. Um, moving forward, we see the pharyngeal slit split, which now we know are gills, but um, that leads us to the chrodotos. And then eventually we get to the chrondrichtites as we move up the tree uh, to more nodes. So contrary to belief, I believe is what the textbook said. Like I said before, we had to go up the tree two nodes. And the closest sister lineage to the chrondrich trees, which is our phyla again, um, is closely related to the next closest node. It's actually two nodes away, which leads us to the crodates, which are filter feeding and immobile without a notochord, which is the main characteristic that differenti differentiates the two. And I just want to reiterate that um, our phyla are cartilaginous. They have a skeleton with a notochord, which is basically early vertebrae, so if you want to refer to the human spine and vertebrae, and also the brain. Um, just for reference, the notochord supports the body as well as organizes the future body plan for the adult specimen, for the adult species. And then they also have a post anal tail, they have, do and they have a dorsal hollow nerve cord. Oh, so the example of the crotrids that we have from 32.6 is a tunicate, and I pulled up a picture that I'll probably edit in here, but if not, I'll just go ahead and insert this picture of it. And we were also told to give common species examples, so the first one is a basking shark, which I'll insert here, which is right here. And then I also chose another example that was called a frilled shark. Mm -hmm. and there's that. There's also there's also rays and skates. More commonly known is the monterey. I just chose these two sharks honestly because you don't see or hear about them every day, so they're kind of unique in that manner. And moving on to question number four. So our phyla belongs to the group Chrodata, as do other phyla, as Eucroda and Diplys, Dipno, excuse me, uh, and other fish-like species. Um, they live in aquatic environments uh, pertaining to and more specifically to the ocean. So heterotrophs and eat small fish or small crustaceans. And that's usually what they stick to for the most part. So in terms of reproduction, which I actually found really interesting because uh, I've never heard of this, they do all three forms of reproduction, the traditional kind we humans know very commonly about where they have their offspring vaginally. It's called the viparous and the other two are called, let me reference my notes here, apologies, um, oviparous and ovoviviparous. So the first one, oviparous, is when they lay eggs. The second one is when the, which is oviviparous, <laughs> excuse me, tongue twister, um, they lay eggs inside themselves and they hatch inside and then they give birth, if that makes sense at all. Um, they also take place in internalized fertilization, which is kind of strange to me thinking about it because I saw that they're related to fish, so I automatically 
thought of salmon, because the symbol of the fish, I guess, how they lay their eggs and a male fish will come and fertilize them with the sperm. So when they said internalize, it's kind of strange to think about for a shark, but it makes sense. I mean, as humans do internalize fertilization, so the content makes sense. It's just difficult to see that in a fish-like species for me. So again, internalized fertilization, which I'm sure you know by now, it's just when the sperm meets up with the egg inside the female specimen. So that concludes our group presentation of all of the researching we did for our phyla. Again, called Grondrick trees. Apologize if I'm mispronouncing that phyla. Uh, nonetheless, I also wanted to mention that any images used are all under the Creative Commons license and any and any information that was presented here was strictly based off of the textbook and formed in a way using our given template based on the way the questions were structured and the examples that we used. That's all I have to present. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time.